We wanted to have a car that doesn't show only aggr aggressivity or fast looking, but we wanted to have something that uh, also involves a little bit the human part. Um, so I will describe it more as an intelligent human character. There was this doodle, which was really, really simple. It had a vertical, almost no lines on its body, and it, has, it had one vertical line, one horizontal line, and a conic surface on it, and that was it. And for me, when I saw it, it was like, that really shows this contrast of straight vertical lines with this beautiful um, coated cylinder or coated um, sphere. And that was it for me, that I didn't need more than that. So the exterior design is a straightforward message and every single line supposed to be there. It has to be there. There is no decorative uh, lines at all. And it's a very simple design. Um, it's a bold message and it's something that um, creates new, creates uh, a new character which is this modern, intelligent one. The car combines um, a lot of human elements, let's, like let's say the color, let's say the welcome opening doors, and all the um, very seamless things that are inside the car, that uh, it invites you to be like in a living room. The contrast of the car plays a big role on, on, on what it is. Um, having the simplicity and having this combination of elements is what makes it really new and strong. Uh, normally you can find a lot of sculpture or a lot of simple graphics, but you don't find both. And in this car you can really find these two elements that create this bold message. Some uh, cool features that you can see in the car, for example, is this form language which is this milled, milled of surfaces. You can see uh, everywhere in the car, in the side, on the front, on the rear, these big sexy volumes that are just chopped off. And then from that piece that you chopped off, you get the theme itself. Um, you can also see a very distinctive uh, window graphic, DLO graphic, which has this really straight straight lines, but if you see the car itself on the, on the side, you can see that its silhouette is very rounded. So that's two very cool features. Uh, also on the rims, uh, I try to create something really emotional since the whole car is so simple, so bold and clean. The wheels had to represent a little bit more of that um, aerodynamics of those, of that speed. So the rims, you can find them, they're asymmetric, they're open in one side, and they also show a lot of sculpture on them. The top part of the car is very soft and very bold, and on the bottom of the car you can find a lot of um, very technical elements.